What's up guys, welcome back to Latin Chopsticks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, I'm really excited because today we're gonna be going to an all you can eat dim sum, hot pot, and Korean barbecue spot all in one. Not only that, but I'm really excited because not only is there all you can eat dim sum, which I've never seen in any other place here in Orlando, but they actually have entire crab legs that you guys can put into the hot pot. So enough talking, I'm super excited. I just wanna rush over there and see how this place is. So I'll see you guys there. Awesome, so we are here, we finally made it, and I'm actually taking my time now. We're gonna re over and take a look at like all these menus to see how it is and how it works. This place is pretty new. Uh, this place actually is on the way to Disney Springs for those of you that live in Orlando, and I honestly, I hadn't noticed this place opening, so I'm super happy that this came as a surprise. And basically the way that it works as of time of filming is you have two options. So Monday through Friday, it's $36.99 for all you can eat barbecue, hot pot, and dim sum. And then on the weekends, it does go up to $39.99. So today is gonna be a $39.99 uh, for everything. I think they do break down, if you guys wanna take a look at it right here, they do break down the prices up there. I did ask because on the website, they don't have any specifications on prices and it's because it's so brand new that they haven't really decided or made up their mind to be a competitive price for the current food. So it might change, it could go up or it could go down by the time you guys come and visit. But enough talking, I'm gonna take my time to see what broth we're gonna choose today. We're gonna have a little bit of everything. We're gonna have barbecue, we're gonna have dim sum, and we're also gonna have <clears throat> the hot pot to see how it is. So enough talking, I'm gonna take a few minutes. I'll see you guys once the food's out. All right, guys, awesome. I am honestly really impressed with this. There's a lot of options. I don't know the quality quite yet because I haven't dug into anything, but we ended up getting a few things uh, as well as a few of the dim sum. But while I'm waiting for the dim sum, I decided to go up to the buffet area where you can grab whatever you need, whatever you like toppings and things that you want. And they have like a Korean barbecue section separate from everything else, as well as the hot pot section. So I actually really like the way they do that. It's really organized, but let's take a look at this for now. All right, guys, so for our soup, we got this one. This is the health preserving uh, soup that they actually make. This is just an herb soup. I'm guessing with a bunch of different aromatics in it. You have ginger, green onion, and yeah, some broth. I, I can't, I, I keep thinking these, are, oh, these are plums. Okay, I thought these were dates. That's funny. I, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I know this is, if you want to try it, go ahead. Just don't burn yourself. But yeah, that's an herbal broth. Um, they were out of the curry. They have multiple ones that I'll show them later. But yeah, this is the meat for the barbecue. This right here is some bok choy as well as some lettuce, or I'm sorry, some Chinese cabbage that I got. These are the crab legs. They are included in the menu as of right now. That's an absolute steal, because it's 40 bucks. You can grab as much as you want. Then of course we got over here, this is all the toppings that I'm gonna put into that hot pot to have like a really nice umami flavor. And then we're gonna start digging into all the other appetizers. So I just wanted to show you guys that off right now, but let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so some of the appetite, or some of the dim sums that I order and some of the sides that I order are out. So let's go ahead and get started. This right here, it's, it looks really good. Let's check it out. So this right here is fried crab leg. It is just a fried uh, crab claw. We're gonna go ahead and take a bite. It's nice and crispy. It just came out freshly made to order. But let's go ahead and see how it is. Guys, right, here we go. Oh man, oh my God. Guys, this is really freaking delicious. It has a little bit of too much batter. But just, just take a look at this. So I kind of wish I had some lime, but there's a lot of flavor. It's nice and salty, super crispy. 
The outside is a little bit thick, but man, this an actual crab leg in there, crab claw. This is phenomenal. Oh man, there's also a little bit of shrimp in there, like Danny said. Mm. Well, essentially, it's a crab claw, but around it, they put shrimp. So you get a little bit of the crab meat, the shrimp, mm, and this delicious crispy batter. Mm, nice and salty and a lot of umami flavor. That's really good. Next thing we're gonna try is gonna be these shrimp balls with cheese. I'm really hoping these are as good as the YH seafood. So let's go ahead and try these out. These are included in the all-you-can-eat menu. Just so I don't end up being a skipping record, everything that I'm showing you to guys today, unless it's not in the all-you-can-eat menu, I'll go ahead and let you know. That way I don't have to constantly be repeating it. But we're gonna go ahead and try the shrimp ball, see how it is. Hmm, okay. So it is a little bit of a disappointment in comparison to the flavor that we had from the crab leg, fried crab leg, but the cheese on the inside, it just, it's very little amount. Uh, it's hollow on the inside, which I wasn't expecting that. I was kind of hoping it would be like the whole thing mixed in with the cheese, but it looks like they just make a ball and then stuff it with cheese, but then the cheese kind of takes up space. So then you get this little shallow ball. Nice and crispy on the outside, but it is missing a little bit of umami flavor and a little bit of salt in my opinion. I right, guess the next thing that we're gonna try is the duck dumplings. I can't wait, check this out. I mean, this grabbed my attention as soon as I saw it. Everything is nice and steamed. So let's go ahead and see if we can grab one of these. Ah, oh, it's sticking to the paper. Let's see if we can get this one. There we go. Oh no. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try this one and see how it is. All right, I'm gonna try my best to just bite just enough so it doesn't, so you guys can see the inside. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Mm. Oh wow, that's flavorful. So the inside is a literally roast duck. So it's like beef stew, but it's like duck stew. So you have, you know, you have your little bit of celery, you have some green onions, you have the carrots, and you have the duck itself. It goes together really well. Uh, the outside, it's super nice and like sticky dough. I actually really enjoy this. In my opinion, it's not bad at all. Mm. And surprisingly, it has a good amount of umami flavor. I probably shouldn't be grabbing this in my hand, but I'm trying to get this through because I know there's more stuff coming, but I like it. So essentially the next thing that we're gonna try out are some Phoenix claws. I've never had this, but essentially what this is, it's just uh, chicken feet. Let's go ahead and check this out. It looks like braised chicken feet, but I've never had this before. I do type, I do tend to like like collagen. I did tend to like like uh, kind of this like gelatinous texture. I, I love that in food personally. Uh, it is on a bed of uh, boiled peanuts, it looks like, or maybe they're fried, but we're gonna go ahead and try this out and see how it is. I haven't had these ever before, so I'm curious. Mm. So yeah, oh yeah. Mm. Really good flavor, but you really gotta like that gelatinous texture because that's the biggest thing about this. Mm. It's pretty good, a little bit sweet. Let's try some of these uh, peanuts here. The peanuts add that little bit missing saltiness. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a little bit of the peanuts and a little bit of the skin. It goes together really well. The only thing I would suggest, it's a lot of bones. Be very careful when eating this and I wouldn't suggest giving these to kids. That was pretty good. All right guys, the next items came out. These are the soup dumplings. This is what I've been waiting for the most. I'm gonna go ahead and try one, that way Danny can try it too. I wanna try to hurry and get them before, I, you know, cause you know soup dumplings tend to absorb the soup quite quickly. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right guys, here we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and just try to grab it here. Hopefully it doesn't break. All right, get it on that spoon. Nice. And then let's open it up just real quick, just to see. Mm, having a hard time here. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and try it. All right guys, here we go. Mm. Mm. Good amount of soup in there. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and bite into halfway into this one so I can show you guys. So it has a good amount of soup in there, if you guys can see. The inside is really flavorful. It's a little pasty-ish to me. So maybe it's because I haven't had soup dumplings in a while. It's nice and hot. Like I said, a lot of juices, a lot of soup. Honestly, put it all together, considering that it's included, it's not bad. Mm. Those three dumplings alone would have been like five bucks at a regular place, not bad. Let's go ahead and dig into this though. Danny ordered these. These are salt and pepper calamari. Nice and crispy. They're still a little bit soft, so we're gonna go ahead and try them out and see how they are. Guys, here we go. Mm, not bad. In my opinion, I think it needed a little bit more or less time in the fryer. It's a little tough, but the onions and the peppers add quite a bit of freshness, despite it. All right, guys, well, now we're gonna start digging into some of the steaks. Let's go ahead and check these out. I'm gonna try this one real quick. Honestly, this looked like a very cheap cut of steak, but let's try it. Mm. 
Oh man, that steak was definitely my fault. Overcooked, <clears throat> and as a result, it was really dry. Luckily, you can make your own custom sauces, so we went ahead and made one here. So I'm a little worried because I think I went overboard with the sesame paste, which is really strong, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this out, put a little bit on the steak and see how it is. All right. Mm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you had a little bit of that sauce to that steak, way better. This is the teriyaki steak here. Let's go ahead and try it out. Mm. A lot softer, sweet, tender, not bad at all. And this right here, this is their lamb. Go ahead and try that out. Oh my God, even more tender, that's the most tender one. Next thing we're gonna try is this pork belly. Very thinly sliced pork belly, which is my favorite, easy to cook, easy to crisp up. It kind of looks like bacon. I like it like this with the burn marks, but let's go ahead and try it out and see how it is. I'm actually gonna dip it into that sauce. And then here we go, bottoms up. Mm. Nice crunch, a little bit of char taste from the burnt edges. Very fatty, you got the acidity of the sauce that has fish sauce and chaojing wine in it. Mm, this is really good. Now the whole time I've been filming, I've had this going. It had corn, it had the plums, everything in it. It has some crab legs as well as some of the, like it has like a shrimp thing in it. <clears throat> I put some collagen in there as well. We have some shiitake mushrooms. See how the flavor is. So let me see if I can find a, I'm gonna use a soup spoon real quick, try it out and see how it is. Mm. Meat itself, meatball, not bad. You know, it has a little bit of a, <clears throat> it almost feels like water chestnut, although I don't think that's water chestnut. I think that's just like collagen in there, but flavor's not bad. Uh, the soup's still a little bit simple because I haven't really put any meat or beef in it, so it's very vegetarian-esque right now. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit more of this, but so far it's not bad. I really wanted to try the curry soup because they have a curry base here, but unfortunately the curry base was sold out when I got here, so it's quite unfortunate. Mm, but the flavors aren't bad. Okay, I'm gonna get some cabbage, get some of this meat. Let's put it in the cabbage here. Get some of this sauce. Ooh. All right, there you go. Let's go ahead and try to squeeze this in there. Mm. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with this place, especially considering the price. Mm. All right, guys, I took a break from filming just to kind of enjoy some of the stuff we already ate, but let's try this corn. I almost forgot to record it. Corn, delicious, super sweet. Their kernels individually pop when you bite them down. Mm. It adds that sweetness I was missing from everything else we ate. Mm. Now, another thing that we can eat is this right here. Let's go ahead and check it out. So this is called a surprise shrimp bag, and it has like shrimp, some egg in it. Let's go ahead and try it out. It looks like it's made out of, che of uh, fish cake, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it out and see how it is. There you go. Mm, okay. Not bad. It's a small layer on the outside. It's a good amount of egg in there, and then you have like a small shrimp. Still, there's a lot of umami flavor from this. It's very simple, but it has a lot of umami flavor, and it absorbed the flavors of the broth itself. So it like plumped up quite a bit. I think had I picked up a stronger broth, maybe a spicy one, stuff like this would be way better than what it is now. Another thing I wanna to mention to you guys is the bok choy, the baby bok choy that you can put. I mean, does it have a ton of vegetables you guys saw in the beginning of the video? But the baby bok choy, when you add it to ramen or when you add it to like hot pot, it's so good in my opinion. Oh man, this place, I really like this place. Mostly because of like the whole all you can eat dim sum. Danny and I were talking about it and it's it's not the best quality, but the amount that you can get, there's like 20 to 30 items on that menu and you can have as much of it as you want. That's pretty good, especially if you can eat a lot. Mm. All right guys, awesome. So now we're gonna go ahead and just, we had the hot pots, pretty good. I did have the crab legs off camera. They're your typical snow crab legs. I have to say that the first one I had, which is this one right here, very strong fishy smell, so I could not eat it. I didn't want to risk it, but the other ones were okay. So just be careful when you're eating those, but they're included. You guys can take advantage and just make a bunch of them in your hot pot and just enjoy the heck out of it. But enough talking. So I have this right here. This is their lava buns. It's made out of a, the inside of a, is a sweet egg yolk jam. Let's go ahead and try these out. Two things I noticed, honestly, the quality wise, not bad, but it's on, essentially, it's just like their, whatever you can get at like an Asian market with like their frozen section. That's essentially what we're getting here. But again, it's all you can eat. So enjoy it, try it out. If there's things that you've never tried before that you want to try it out, you can. All right, so I'm going to try this out and then I'll take a picture. I love how these look, always love the perfection of these on the outside, but here we go. Mmm, that's really good and that's weird. Yeah, no, it's a very pasty, like jammy custard of like the egg yolk. It doesn't look that appetizing, but it's it, phenomenal in flavor. I've never had this before. This, like I said, it's really, really, really good. Complements the outside. The outside just makes it this beautifully cloud bread. 
Not only that, the jam coats it super well, so it adds this like very slight layer, layer of like sweetness to your bite. This is delicious. I highly suggest this one. I almost didn't order it. The only reason I ordered it is because me and Danny were like, you know what, we have Korean barbecue all the time. Let's try to focus on the dim sum and have it. 100% recommend it. Mm. All right guys, the next thing we're gonna try is the spring roll. I am like dying over here, guys. I'm like super full. I ate too much of the meat. But this right here is the spring rolls. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Check the inside, see if it's worth it. Okay, so being honest, it's not bad. It's nice and crispy. The inside's super small. I mean, super small. It is small, but it's super soft. Vegetables are cooked nicely, but I feel like the inside, unfortunately, like pulled in a lot of the grease from the deep fry. And it's just, it's not, it's really mushy for me. So I'm not really tasting the individual pieces on the inside. And because of that, I feel like it takes away from the spring roll as a whole. There's no meat in it. It's just a spring roll, but yeah. All right guys, awesome. So this place got absolutely packed and well, we're gonna have some Hershey's ice cream that's included with the, with the buffet. In all honesty, I think it was really good. I'm not gonna go out of my way to say, oh, it's the best. It's just, it's pretty good. For what you get, I think it is valuable. I think that's the biggest thing. Especially if you're someone that's interested in trying out all the different types of dim sums that you can get. If you're someone that doesn't have experience with them, it's a great place to come by for 40 bucks and just have as much dim sum as you want. That I highly would suggest uh, you guys to coming and, and visiting. Hot pot wasn't bad. You get a lot of different toppings that you can put into your hot pot. You get a lot of different meats. You get a lot of different cuts of beef and uh, different meats, really, proteins that you can cook on the Korean barbecue. Overall, I think it's a good experience. Um, Quality-wise, there are some other options that are slightly better. But again, the biggest focus of this video and the biggest focus that I came to this restaurant is because they have the all-you-can-eat dim sum included and the fact that you can get some crab legs into your hot pot, which that is phenomenal. I haven't seen that anywhere else. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this ice cream. Like I was saying, the young lady came by, so I kind of lost track of where I was. But again, I would highly suggest you guys coming to visit. Great way to find out what all the different dim sum tastes like. You guys know that there's noodles and there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can choose and really customize it to have the meal any way that you want. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for coming with me today. That was awesome. This place is brand new. I think it's only been open for a week or two, maybe. So I'm really excited that we were one of the first ones that got here. But please, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any future videos. Do hit that like button. That way I can keep going to different restaurants and maybe go to nicer and fancier restaurants to show off how things are here in Orlando. You know, I really appreciate the support that you guys have given me the last three years. Thank you so much. I can never say it enough. With that said, I will see you guys next Sunday. And until then, let's just keep on eating. Yeah.